Bro, shrooms are fucking crazy. Don't do shrooms if you are depressed. Don't do fucking shrooms if you are unhealed from whatever trauma wounds or just trauma in general. Because fucking shrooms will bring that out of you. You know, shrooms made me realize a lot of things. But at the same time, what I realized is I already knew the answers. I had the answers I knew, you know. Shrooms will literally bring out your insecurity. Shrooms will literally make you realize, you know, what you have in life. You know, I was just, um, you know, at one point, you know, something said like, oh, you know, you have everything you need in life. I think it may have like repeated it twice. I don't even know. But, you know, shrooms are fucking crazy. It makes you realize things in life, you know. You need to be in the right headspace, you know. I can't. I was listening to music, right? I was listening to music and that shit was beautiful. Like, I could hear the music 10 times more into my fucking soul. Like, it was crazy. I don't even know how to explain it. But I could literally just hear the music in my soul. Like, I love music. That's one thing about me. I love it. I love listening to it. And just with the shrooms, it just made it 10 times more beautiful. You know, I could hear every, like, inch of, like, every instrument that was played. You know, I could hear, like, the... The, the pain in people's voices, bro, it was crazy, it was insane, but, you know, I rec- shrooms is just something that you need to be mentally kind of, like, prepared for, because if you're not, things can go south, like, every time I was, you know, every time I thought about something bad, you know, that literally brought down my mood, you know, it brought down my whole mood, things turned just gloomy, but you know, every time I had a positive thought, you know, I it brought it back up. It brought it made me more, you know, I guess I would say more happy. But the amount of realizations that I had was fucking crazy, you know. And that shit went on for hours. I was realizing a lot of shit. And, you know, I I journaled a little bit, you know, I wrote down in my fucking um uh, like journaling, you know, I wrote what was kinda like on my mind at the time. I'm probably going to reread like reread it after this video. But, you know, a lot of people are scared to try shrooms and I don't fucking blame you because things can go really wrong if you're not careful, you know, especially if you're not in the right headspace. That's something I recommend you need to be in the right headspace. You can't be worrying about shit. You need to be free, you know. You need to be happy. Your mind needs to be in the right space. It needs to be healed. It needs to be positive. You know, there was someone on TikTok who, you know, shared that they were taking shrooms like five days out of the week for the for a year straight. You know how crazy that sounds? You know, in my head, I was just like, yo, how is this dude still functioning? Right, bro. That's fucking crazy. You know, he said he was depressed. But the thing is, shrooms will definitely get the best of you. You abuse it. You know, I can't lie. Like, while I was taking a shower, I could feel like the hot and cold water on my body. Like, it was different, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. It was different. Like, I could feel the hot and cold water on my body while I was showering. You know, my mind. I don't know. Like, my mind just went blank, bro. And the conversations that I was just having with myself, they were, like, they were, they were crazy. No, they weren't crazy, but I can't lie. They were a little entertaining. But, you know, that's just my little experience with shrooms.